a great question here, and thanks to the person who asked it, which is um, in my AI course, artificial intelligence course, I I said several times, well, you know, I'm going to be out of a job soon because AI is going to be able to replace business coaches and business teachers because already people are using ChatGPT for business coaching, for you know, marketing advice, you know, business plans, you know, how do I launch this product? How do I, you know, write these social media posts? It can give you all of the ideas already, already. And of course, many of the people in my industry, uh, especially the bigger players all the way down to people like me are going to be creating our own AI chatbots. That's like George Cow's knowledge. I mean, already in my AI course, I give access to uh, at this time, I have two chatbots already that's trained on my information. One of them is, has read all my books. I have five books right now. One of them has read all my books, and you can talk to it about anything within my books. Just talk to it. Instead of having to read the books, you just talk to it. And then the other one has read many of my blog posts, and you could just talk to it to ask about anything. And it's smart enough where you, even if you ask it something outside of my blog post or books, it still takes that kind of tone and that kind of value set to try to answer you. So, and it's only gonna get better because right now, as of this recording, I'm using the early, I mean, I'm right now it's early days. And by early days, I mean, really within the next three months, it's gonna get better and better and better. And within a year, I'm gonna be able to train my chatbots to be, to, to replace much of what I do, to be honest with you. Because I know that if I don't replace myself, someone else is gonna replace me. You all are gonna become mesmerized by, some other business coaches chatbot that's wonderfully designed, you know, with the video that looks just like them talking with the voice, just like them. It's all going to be video based chatbots probably in a year right now. It's all text-based. So it's still a little bit boring, but you know, within, within a year, probably less than two years, I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. It's going to be on your phone. You're going to be talking, talking to me, like, like you're having a conversation right now with me. It's going to look just like me. It's going to, it's going to, all the reactions and face will, will, will be very quite accurate within two years. And the voice will be very accurate. The voice is already very accurate. They, they're already able to, sadly, fool people with AI voices, AI conversations. They have the nuances. They have the pauses. They have the, well, you know, they have all that. All of that's already it's already here. But they're still working on the video part of it. The video part, the deep fakes only... Um, like celebrities have deep fakes. But th those of you who don't know, um, uh, Keanu Reeves, there's a deep fake channel um, for Keanu Reeves that I, I I sometimes like going to. All right, I found it. And it's called Unreal Keanu. Let me start. This this a phone. Go, let me stop. Here we go. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hoe. This ain't a phone. Go, never stop. Okay, that's just one video. Did you see let's, that movie? Oh, whoops. Let's let's let me show you another one. I mean, they have a they have a bunch of these, but um, yeah, they have a bunch of these, and I'm gonna see if I can find one. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of these in in a while, but like, here's another one that's funny. So that wasn't Keanu Reeves. That was a video AI, AI of Keanu. Um, so they're still working on pairing the voices. I mean, there's already, so synthesia.io or something. It already has like a stock video. I mean, it looks like a real person talking. It's, it's not no one famous. But to, to actually deep fake individuals like me and others, and you, that's going to take another year or two. But it's a year or two. And you're gonna have the George George bot in your in your pocket. Um, I like I said, if I don't work myself out of a job, someone else will. You're gonna be able to talk to fill in the blank influencer. If they're smart enough, they're gonna have their own video based AI chat bot in your pocket. Um, maybe you'll subscribe for twenty bucks a month, or fifty bucks a month, or a hundred dollars a month. Smaller players like me have to charge more, like a hundred dollars a month, to be able to like, okay, you have access to all my courses through the chatbot. You don't have to take my courses; you just talk to it. 
You just talk to it, ask it any question. Hey, I'm struggling with this Facebook ad campaign. How, George, how, how would you go about it? Oh yeah, this is how you do it. Share my screen. It's all AI fake. So, so then the question was, George, aren't you concerned? Like you talk about it, like it's nothing, like you're going to lose your job. Like, aren't you worried? And the person who's asking it is a psych psychotherapist. And, you know, he said he, he really is concerned about it. And I think that is the right, it's a good starting emotion because I want to show you something else that I just found today in an, in an AI newsletter. These are actual comments from people who are using ChatGPT for therapy. Talking to ChatGPT has been nothing but relaxing, way better than spending thousands on therapy. From a psychological therapy standpoint, ChatGPT has been an absolute godsend for me. I was estranged from my family. I'm ugly crying because ChatGPT could have replaced him and done a far better job. ChatGPT has been my best friend therapist for the past weeks, definitely changed my life. We talk pretty much all day when I'm working better than therapy using ChatGPT. And then, um, you know, these are all real. These are all real, real comments from, from the internet, uh, very recent comments. And um, so uh, again, back to the original question, George, are you not concerned that you're going to lose your job and all of us who are service providers, it's not that we'll lose our job because there's still going to be some clients who say, well, I've been with you for all all this time. Of course, I'm going to stick with you. Um, but it's just that the alternatives are going to be so mesmerizing. That's the problem. And so much cheaper. Yeah, it's not It's gonna, not going to be. Okay, would you rather pay me, George Cow, $100 a month to access my course bot? Okay. Or... If you could talk to ChatGPT 7, you know, ChatGPT 6 for $20 a month. So you save five times the amount of money and ChatGPT 6 by that point will have already read all my blog posts and my blog posts are live and can extrapolate from my blog posts and YouTube videos we would have read all of that. And says, well, I, we don't have access to George's paid courses, but based on, based on the public information we have about George's stuff, he's probably going to say this to you. And it's probably going to be a better answer than George the human could give. And so it's, it's, I, I, I say these things. I always have to say, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying this to make us all despair, but I'm saying this with sincerity of, we need to think about this. We really need to think about this. What does that mean for us? What does it mean for us? Um, I think <laughs> some form of universal basic income may be needed uh, and it's probably coming to be honest, but, and that, that'll be nice, right? Like we have, well, not that much, but, but it's not going to be that much money. We still have to, we still would like to make money. So here's the, here's what I think. I am worried and I'm channeling those worries about me losing my job into action and into creativity and into community building. Because, yes, there will be mesmerizing hypnotic options that replace a lot of human service providers. There will be, especially talk, any kind of talk therapy. If you do body-based therapy, you're going to be safe for, for, for a while longer because it's harder for robots to give you a massage, you know, in, in, in the right ways, right? Or, or, to, or to cook for you or to do your plumbing. Those are all harder. Like ironically, blue collar jobs, uh, red collar, but blue collar jobs are actually safer in this day and age than white collar jobs. So all of us who work with ideas and speaking and communication with clients, we have to, we have to really take it up a notch and go, okay, what do I do now? Here's what we do. We need to become A, more creative and B, more we need to develop our leadership essentially, right? Creativity and, 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 and human-based nuanced and vulnerable leadership. Because I sometimes say what's left after robots can do everything humans can, what's left for us is our awkwardness and our mistakes and our humanity. And the fact that we suffer and the fact that we have human-like joy those things can will always be with us. And those things can be shared vulnerably with our audience, with our clients, with our students. And the more we're able to do that, more willing to do that, 
the more human we stay and the more unique we remain. Really. So it, it you know, interesting example is chess, the game of chess. Did you know that I don't remember when, if somebody knows when, okay. Um, several years ago, chess, uh, the, the world's greatest chess player was beaten by artificial intelligence. And it's rumored that he said this when it happened. He said, chess is now over. Chess is over. Who, who wants to play chess anymore when the robots can do it better? Well, interestingly, chess has never been more popular than ever. So we have hope, right? Why? And do, is, it, is chess popular because you see two robots playing with each other? Nobody cares about that. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Just as nobody would want to see, you know, two robots playing basketball, it's like, yay, cool, they're really good. So what? So what? No, people want to see humans playing each other. That's much more interesting because of the hesitations, of the of the of the struggles, right? And of the of the delight and of the aha moments and of the oh my gosh, that was a brilliant move by a human. And that's the same thing that's going to happen with us who are idea based service providers, is they want to see us be vulnerable. They, meaning our clients and our audience. They, they don't, more and more, they're, they're going to relish in our awkwardness because it's no longer going to be, per if you see someone being perfect and speaking like this, it's going to be like, ah, it's boring. But someone goes, oh, wait, what I meant to say, oh, that's interesting. It's going to be more and more so like this. So, so what we need to lean into as I said, is the following. Well, one, I think getting better about your field, that's always true. I mean, that even, you know, that's always true. Bottom line, you, you just keep getting better about what it is you're passionate about and be, be a better provider in that way. And also have better knowledge to program your chatbot, you know, to, to make it more unique and, and make it more expert. That's true. But number two, the more you can lean into emotional and social intelligence and be a better leader, like I said. And if you can, build a community of people who are following your journey. Well, this is what I've been talking about for years. I think maybe, you know, I have a hammer, so everything's a nail. <laughs> so maybe that's true. But I, I really do see that the future is human communities who say, you know what? I still want to be part of a community of other human beings who are struggling like me and with whom I can vulnerably relate to and say, oh, you too had that kind of a week. Oh, you too are trying to solve that issue. Oh, you too have that experience of, a, of a delight. Me too. Wow. So if you can be the facilitator of that kind of a community, well, it's going to be much, your, your job security is going to be much better. And you'll probably also need to learn how to program a chatbot. It doesn't, it's not going to be complicated. It's not. The programming chatbot is as simple as it's going to be as simple as talking into a video, just talking about your ideas. And the chatbot goes, got it. I, I have it. Don't worry. I, I've got it. And then it'll just spin out, you know, be able to, to talk to your clients. It's going to be that easy. It's not going to be, there's no code involved. There's no, you know, programming. No, no, no. It's going to be, you know, there already is. I mean, the, the chatbots I programmed for my clients, it was easy as, do I know how to upload files? Yes, I do. I have no, I have no experience in programming. I mean, no, no skills. I know how to upload files. I know how to give them a link and it instantly pulled all my website links. You know, I gave them the homepage and it pulled all my blog posts. I gave them my books, my five books as work, Microsoft Word documents. Okay, great. Chatbot's ready. So it's going to be that easy. Plus it's going to be even easier as we go along. So two things, get even more humanly creative and nuanced in your communication and vulnerable. So the human side, the soft side. And on the other side is um, lean into seeing what's available now with the AI tools so you can start using them to serve your clients and your students better. Because the more we can do both of these things, the more, you know, it's, it's that now famous line. I don't know who said it, but AI is not going to replace human uh, workers. It's human workers who use AI will replace human workers who do not. Just what it is. I mean, there's... It's and as much as we want, and by the way, there's also going to be a hundred percent organic movement 
and fair trade movement. It's going to be now instead of organic food and fair trade, you know, commerce, it's going to be 100% human based services, right? It's kind of like buy from buy from uh, buy buy from labor or buy from um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, buy from unions, right? Yeah, people are still going to want people are still like, oh, sure, I want to support the farmers. I want to support the unions. I'll spend some uh, buy American made buy you know, whatever country you are buy Taiwan made products, right? Talking to Johnson here from Taiwan. Me, me too. I'm from Taiwan. So it's like, yeah, people will still spend a little bit more like as a luxury to say, yeah, I'll buy 100 percent human <laughs> for this for this product. But the vast majority are going to be like, wait, I have to spend 50 percent, 20 to 50 percent more to buy 100 percent human. Mm, yeah, maybe today I'll, I'll go with the AI route because that's my income. That's my that's what I have. Right. So I hope this is uh, <laughs> I hope this is interesting scary remembering that fear can simply be excitement right fear is simply energy channeled towards either fear or channeled towards excitement and creativity and brainstorming so let's channel our concerns over to ooh let's see how we can become a better version of ourselves and i'm not talking about neural implants yet i'm talking about a better human version of ourselves because that is what other humans want to see and relate to so hope this helpful oh and i just want to say one more thing again i want to iterate going forward please encourage yourself to make more mistakes especially publicly public mistakes are going like building up your courage for that is is ironically going to be more valuable in the future than being perfect because you, there's no way I already have imposter syndrome with ChatGPT. When clients ask me questions, I'm like, ChatGPT probably has a better answer than me, but I'm going to try my best with all my mistakes. I will give it to you. Right. So I uh, hope this is helpful.